Oh no, oh no, I feel something I don't want. Oh no. Okay, let's put that aside. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Ooh, welcome to I Review Yuri and today we are going to do another Pokemon related stuff. We are going to unbox this Pokemon Center Fukubukuru from Singapore's Pokemon Center. Fukubukuru uh, is a Japanese New Year custom in which merchants make grab bags filled with unknown random contents and sell them for a substantial discount. In short, the store which cannot sell out of something they decided to take out of them and throw them in the bag, make it into a grab bag and then give make it a huge discount so that they can like sell it out in the first day of the new year. It's quite common in Japan. So in Singapore there's not many fukubuku rules around. One of the most popular fukubuku rules, which is the recent one, is the Pokemon Center's Fukubuku rule, which is this one. And another <laughs> And another one of the Fukubuku rules which are from which is from Singapore is also from a Japan store is a aroma fukubuku rule where there's a lot of snacks and such. I actually opened it the previous year and you can see it somewhere linked up here. And it's also linked in the description box below. So this year I decided to go all out and go for this huge one. So the Pokemon Center actually released two kinds of lucky bag this year. This is the bigger and more expensive one which has all the like plushies, all the other things that inside. And there's also like a trading card Pokemon Fukubukuru in which I am not interested at all. That retails for $40 and its original price is I have no idea. I will probably link, put it down here. So this is worth $394 and it retails for $120. So this bag, this box is $120. It does not have like the bags as previously but it comes in a very pretty box. We shall check out this Fukubukuru. So this Fukubukuru as mentioned is worth is $394 worth of product. One Pokemon or Pokemon plushie in Singapore is about $30. Basically, the prices are super high, so I will leave up. Uh, I will leave like, is it worth it at the end of this video and all the prices as I show them to you in the video because I'm very sure that I do not know any of the prices. I do not really buy Pokemon products because they're expensive. For this box, well, it contains one of the exclusive plush bank blanket of a either a Pikachu, Scorbunny, or a Yamper. I only really know about like the first, second few, the first previous generation of Pokemon because I'm that old. Don't really like catch up with the older, older Pokemon. But because it kind of like have the same story in a way, don't you think? As you turn, the box have actually really nice graphic. I, I don't know if you can see. Aha! Ow! So you can see it's thick. It's actually quite a big box. Oh, then there's another expression over here and here this is a really pretty box the box when it is delivered it comes wrapped in like a plastic bag a clear plastic bag that's all this box is its only protection I, and if there's any glass inside then <laughs> so let me show you how big is the box I, I don't know how to show you how big is the box so this is me at the box so it's about chest length. So they just basically like throw in the things in the box without like the bag. Normally it comes like in a bag. So yeah. Upcoming new release. Oh, okay. They have like a Pikachu thing for upcoming new release. Oh, what are you? Yeah, an apron. April Forest Berry Forest Gold Chaser. This is cute. Eevee and Pikachu over here. The Pikachu look a little bit distorted. Interesting. Right at the bottom, there's like a lot of like this kind of really cute graphics of the Pokemon. There's like this fire horse that's butterfree. Can you even see anything? 
interesting and right at the back it writes Berry Forest Ghost Castle interesting it is of a thick material so that's good I'm not quite sure how much is this worth but okay <laughs> and next we are, we are going with a plushie Ooh, this is the blanket we got the Yamper one who are you? Yamper is this thing I believe it's a grass type Pokemon Ooh. oh cute oh it's so soft look yeah it's soft and it's like you can see like the fur go up and down up and down I think you can like unhook it over here so you can take the whole plush out I thought it's like stuck to the blanket that's why I'm like mm -hmm. it's a really soft plush this is cute this like I think like this by itself is probably $30 because apparently everything is expensive so cute do make and the blanket is a soft blanket this is the back Interesting quality. It's a very small blanket. Doo -doo. Right, you can see like this, these four buttons where you can turn and put the plush on it. And right at the corner, there's one pachi. One pachi. It's so cute. It's like a dog blanket. I don't know. I like touching it. You know, like sticky blanket which them soft. So while I was looking up on the net trying to figure out how much are all these, I suddenly realized something. There's a price tag down here. So the blanket alone is $64. This blanket is $64 with this thing. I mean, this is very soft, but it's $64. This is very expensive for a blanket. And the apron, the questionable apron <laughs> is $42 over here. Oh, like that is like it kind of, it is more hundred over dollars already just by two items. This is expensive. I'm not quite sure if they like put the price tag there so that it seems like you it's worth your money or it's like the real price tag. I'm probably going to Google and research more of this. Anyways, let's continue with the unboxing. So next we are going with a t-shirt. Hey! Who? What is a t-shirt collection? Free size. Okay, I want a t-shirt, so that's this good. So this t-shirt is $30, so you can get one of this design. Why are the designs all so angry? <laughs> I want a happy t-shirt, not an angry t-shirt. So this is a changing t-shirts collection. Okay. Now let's open the t-shirt Ooh. Okay At least this is a happy t-shirt one and not one of those very angry t-shirt design I got this, this one Ah, oh, he's eating, I forgot what's the Pokemon name It's called a Shaka <laughs> It's a free size one It fits me if it fits me, it's not free size. If it fits me, it's small. This is a cute design. I like it. So that is thirty dollars. <laughs> now, I'm gonna grab another. Oh, yay! We have a Pikachu. So this is twenty eight dollars. I'm very sure this is twenty eight dollars because I went to the store and saw this for twenty eight dollars. So, so the prices match up. So because here at twenty eight dollars, I saw it's twenty eight dollars. It's twenty eight dollars. So this is a Singapore girl Pikachu. The Changi Jewel Changi Airport version. I'm not quite sure why they why they created this, but sure. We have a Pikachu. So you can see like there's a bow over here. It's the tail is soaked to the back. And it's quite high quality. I don't see any like any of the why am I like poking around with some it shirt? Ah! I thought the $28 one would be bigger, okay? <laughs> but yeah, this is a Pikachu. Cute. Continue. A box. <gasps> it's a smartphone cover. 
It's a red multi mobile phone case. It's forty five dollar. It's a Pikachu one. Right? I like the design. The design is super cute. But what the hell is a multi mobile phone case? So I open this, and there's this really cute design at the back. You're supposed to put it on, and then you just slide it out anytime you need like the camera. So when I took it up, it's really nice. I like how the, this there's this like golden embroidering down here, and right at the back there's this tiny raspberry. Ah, so cute! It's filled with Pokemon, Pikachu, and there's like a flap over here with pockets, and you can just stick your phone over here and you move it up. Is it really worth forty nine dollars? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Next, we are grabbing a beach water. Ooh! Hey! Look! It's a Pikachu! Hey! It's a very soft Pikachu! It's as big as the box. Okay, close the box. It's bigger than the box. Oh, that's nice. It's like it's like a very generic Pikachu kind of face. So, so this is... $89. This Pikachu is $89. It's a very soft Pikachu. Hello. And it's a life-size soft toy Pikachu smile. So if it's a if the Pikachu is life-size, so this is like the normal size of a Pikachu. Interesting. Next, we are going hunting. Oh, I feel another plushie. Oh, another one. <laughs> what? What is this? They say because we cannot fly out of the country, so they have to include one pilot and one air stewardess. This is also twenty eight dollars. So that doesn't oh, say oh oh look a little tiny tie, and that's like the Singapore version though here. Interesting. We have a pet. Oh no. Oh no, I feel something I don't want. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so this is like the uh, Marcham figurine. I, I saw this in the previous year's Puku Puku Ruta then I'm like, no, oh no. So now I feel something, oh no. I'm not gonna take it out of this thing because um, it's not going to be in my house anymore. <laughs> oh no. So there's 19 points of articulation. So it looks like that. I, I really can't describe this. This is more suitable for people of like a younger age, just not me. It doesn't really write how much is this either. It it must be really really unsellable because it's been in like two years of Fuku Fuku rule. So okay, let's put that aside. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Well, this at least this uh, Mew 2 one looks There's 40 points of articulation Oh look. look! Look at the joints of the Mew 2 tail I think it can be like turned Interesting, so I have a, I have a, I have a pair of matching things Which nobody wants Oh look! It's not empty. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is cute. So this is the Pikachu on a Lapras. So this costs a forty-nine dollars. Oh, look, the Pikachu have a little tiny bag, and it, and the Lapras also have like this ribbon over here. This is just cute. I don't see any strings popping out or anything. The bag is also like plush, it's not empty. And it's of a nice colour. <laughs> There's nothing much to say about plushies, they are plushies. Oh, it's the last thing. It's a mystery batch. A Wubofe series mystery batch. So there's six designs in which you can get. One of them is the mystery design. There's one with Eevee, one with Ditto, one with Pikachu, one with a honeycomb and one with this pink and white thing. I don't know the new series. Now, I think that is appropriate for me since I do have like a batch bag as you can see over here. So, enough talking. Time to open it up. 
Pikachu one. Yes, this is. Why are they so happy? <laughs> so this is the Pikachu one. You can see over here. I don't know the Pikachu the teeth look a little bit distorted or something like that. It looks confusing. It, it's quite a high quality patch in a way. But you can see like there's ridges, like rigorous ridges of the patch. Interesting. So overall this Puku Puku rule, I'm not quite sure how much is most of the things but according to the price tag to what I saw, it seems to be worth it in a way. It's not more of like if you want a variety of Pokemon kind of thing. It's, it's more of like if you want a lot of Pikachu kind of thing. So if you are like into Pikachu, you can get this because there's just a lot of Pikachu. Like there's just a lot of Pikachu. <laughs> like I expected more of like a bottle saw or something like that. Like Pokemon, there's so many, there's so many other Pokemon. What I like is the T-shirt. It's usable. Mm. And it's not of a horrible graphic. And actually what I really like is this though. <laughs> I know it's a very generic Pikachu kind of thing, but it's like big, it's like plushy, it's nice. I thought there's like some glass inside because that when it came when it comes there's a fragile sticker on it. What I don't like is this. Why? Just 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 why? I, these are already in last year's Fukubukuru, so why? <laughs> so overall, is it worth it? I mean, I'm sure it's worth it. I'm, I'm, this thing already is $89, so this is $50, so it already like, covers the cost just by with these two things. And then there's more of these things, and then there's this thing, and there's this thing. It's worth it if you love plushies. It's worth it if you love Pikachu. Mm. It's not a Pokemon Fukubu, it's more of a Pikachu Fukubu Guru. But I don't like the box, I'm gonna keep the box because I enjoy hoarding cardboard box for god knows what reason. Overall, this is the price which they say it is and this is the price which it is. Would I buy it again? No. Because, yeah. Do you think that this box is worth it? Would you buy it? Do comment below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!